Hey everyone, it's me, Nathan from Nathan's Way. Um, I totally jerry-rigged this angle thing so I can be comfortable outside on this couch. Well, just like, yeah, I kind of like have you on like propped up with all these blankets that are like literally right here. And it's not the most flattering angle, but I'm comfy. Don't worry, I'm getting new equipment soon. I'm getting a new computer and crossing my fingers for a uh, camera. I just gotta, I just gotta do it. And it's just the thing and buyer's remorse and yeah. It's literally in the Amazon cart and I just gotta do that. Check it check out check out but you know that pirates remorse is a thing but i cannot go on the way i am jerry rigging like this broken phone camera thing but anyways anyways this is why i'm here a mid-march tarot reading because i forgot to do the beginning of the month so i'm doing mid-march so I'm doing past, present, future, outcome, helper, and hinder cards. So that is six cards. Yeah. So let's see. Past. Transition journey. Um, six of the arrows. I can totally see this because a lot of things are changing. Um, a lot of things are going forth, and I gotta. I just got to go. Like in the past, I take transitions hard. Like right now. I'm trying not to repeat my history because whenever I try to better myself, I always end up self-sabotaging because I want it just so, but it never is just so. So I'm just like, I just got to move forward instead of like self-sabotaging. So past is a transition. I am currently in a transition. This boat is a swan, and you see it setting sail. So, transition with grace, like, past. So, right now I'm in a transition where I want to do a lot of different things, and I don't want to go back to where I was. Because, yeah. Let's move forward and evolve. So, I get that. Present. Okay, so present is the Three of Stones, creativity. And it was upside down. So at the present, I have a lot of creative ideas. And I, I am brainstorming. I'm, like, doing it. But I have stuff that's holding me back. First of all, I'm getting depression. Like, I, my mental health is, right now, it's... My mental health has been better, but, um, I mean, it's hitting me hard because right now I'm standing still and I don't like standing still. I like to be creative and spontaneous and get to get a lot of energy from my environment. And right now my environment has been the same for the past couple months and I need a change and yeah, and buying the technology that I need will help with that. And it's just, again, that whole, I just got to do it mentality. Like, I got to do it. I can afford it. Like, I can afford it. I am pretty okay. I'm, I'm not hurting. But it's just, it, it's a thing where I'm like, do I really need this? Am I... A just like it's basically me making excuses and I gotta stop making excuses and just do it so maybe that will be a video on its own so past present future okay so it is balance and it's upside down so I feel like if I don't get this under control there'll be a lack of balance and right now the out the future looks very unbalanced and I got to figure out how to tip the scales my way because 
I feel like this is more of a more that my road is going to be a little rocky, a little bumpy. I'm going to be doing a little bit of traveling here, a little bit of traveling there, scraping and scrounging for whatever ever I can. And like, yeah, so I got to figure out that balance between creativity and reality, I feel. Outcome. Outcome is this heron. So a lot of factors around me are going to be very impatient because I find the king of vessels, the heron, a very patient king. Because cranes or herons, herons, they'll wait to catch the fish at the right time. They'll stand still for a while until their fingers are right and then they grab it. So oh, the outcome will be a very impatient king like it will like i'm kind of getting that way now like very impatient um very impatient situations where or i'm at a standstill for a little too long and i just need to go like that's usually what happens where i'm standing still i haven't moved from the spot for like three months and now I just gotta go. I gotta go. Greyhounding it. Right? Okay, so past, present, future outcome. Okay, helper card. Okay, so. Okay. So this is the King of Bows, but it was upside down. So. I feel like it is coming out of hibernation, like coming out of hibernation, shedding skin, like I feel like that will be the helper. Shed the skin, like un like untangle yourselves from from whatever's happening and just shed the skin and go like Come out of hibernation. Hinder card. <laughs> okay. So it's the six of vessels, but it's upside down. So right side up is reunion. So reunion's all about coming together and all that fun stuff. But upside down, upside down, it's like having everything come apart that you work so hard to uh, bring together and... So finding that way of finding that way of bringing it together and keeping it together instead of it expanding. So, yeah, that was my reading for March. I mean, it's a decent reading. I mean, there's stuff I already knew in this and stuff I really just didn't I knew but I didn't want to confront so I'm going to take a look at this and look at what I got for March with Arwen's reading I always get a yearly reading from Arwen and yeah so awesome I hope you enjoyed this video and if you subscribe from um, um if you subscribed today um thank you so much I was at on a live chat with Ember Honey Raven doing her moder mon monitoring. I was a moderator. Moderator? Moderator. That's the word. I was making sure no no trolls got into her live feed and so oh I was very happy to do that and I got to talk uh, to different people and was excited about the conversation. Ooh, I'm sorry. But, um, talk about that conversation, and yeah, um, I was really happy to talk to a lot of people, and thank you for subscribing, and thank you for seeing me, watching this channel, and r looking at my updates. I'm going to up this, upload this right now, and have it posted by hopefully around 8 o'clock tonight, um, yeah. Much love and best wishes. Bye, everyone.